Hey, so mighty, everybody. <laughs> so happy to have you back on the stage, man. I love having you guys up here. I swear to God, I have, I have, I have so much fun watching this. I have so much fun seeing so many different talents, so many people come up here. Uh, I think I, uh, I was in the back and I heard somebody say, this is something like um, the comedy seller. I think we Sam said it. Somebody, I was, I was in a conversation. This is like the comedy seller of Dearborn, right? It's that experimental little place where we, we have cultivated a safe space where people can come in, be together, have fun, share their talents, and still feel like we all can get along and feel safe and have a good time. And that's been, it's been a blast. Please make some noise for everybody here. I love every single one of you. It's amazing. I'm so happy you guys are here. Guys, this is an open stage. Every third Wednesday of the month here, we have the English Dearborn Open Mic. We want as many of you to come out here as you can. I mean, think about it. There's, it's open. You know what I mean? We've got a guitar up here. We're going to hear from Kareem in, in a little bit. We've got some folks up here who are kind of deliberating. Are you ready to get up on stage or not? I'd like to encourage, if we can, just a little bit of time. If there's anybody up here who has seen the talent that we have today and is like, you know what? Maybe I was coming in here thinking about it, but now I'm ready to get up on stage and try something out. If you'd like to, I'm going to make it very simple for you. I'm going to set three very basic rules, okay? Rule number one, have fun. Just come up here and have fun. Look at us. We're having fun. There's no pressure here. We're not trying to sell you anything. We're not trying to get anything from anybody. You know what I mean? We're not trying to share an idea. We're just sharing our talents. It's a big, it's a big show and tell. Just come up here and have fun. That's number one. So rule number one, come up and have fun. Rule number two, be nice. A lot of different people in the crowd from different backgrounds. Some of you from Dearborn, some of you not from Dearborn, different ethnicities. Be nice to everybody who's up here. Right? So number one, have fun. Number two, be nice. And number three, respect the time. And we've never had a problem with that. Everybody up here is respectful. We start on time, we end on time, and everybody is perfectly courteous about that. Is there anybody up here or in the audience uh, who would like to come up here and uh, read something for us? Anybody up here? Okay, we got a couple of hands. All right, let me start over here with Ali. Ali Sablini, you want to come up? Yeah. All right, wonderful, wonderful. Very good. Ali, just come on up this way, ladies and gentlemen, Ali Sablini, and as he comes up, just a quick reminder, when you guys do come up, there's a little um, information flyer you got to fill out before you go, so that we can have all your information, get all your notifications ready, and have you set up. Ali, stage is yours. Thank you very much, Yusuf. <sighs> my bad. Out of respect, I should call you Mr. Al-Qamusi, that's my bad. That's my bad. Uh, Alright, so, what's up everyone, my name is Ali Sablini. Uh, recently, I've just been going through stuff, you know, we all go through stuff in life, experiencing our own changes and finding ourselves. So I have a friend, his name is Hamza, uh, and me and him have a word, it's a filler word. I don't know if you guys ever do something like this, but we call it the earth, the earth. We use it to fill in anything. I could be saying a sentence like, yo, I'm gonna go to the earth real quick, you know? Uh, that, that could mean anything, bro. That could mean the bathroom, going outside, whatever. Uh, or like, man, I'm feeling like earth today. <sighs> so it's open to interpretation. And I wrote this poem. Now, I'm not, I'm not a poet by any means. This is my first legit poem I've ever uh, like written. And uh, it's called The Earth. So it's open to interpretation, however you guys want to uh, interpret it. I have my own interpretation, of course, uh, and I wrote it in a moment where it was, uh, I was feeling a lot of things. I was, I, was, I was trying to make decisions. I was thinking, am I doing the right thing? Or uh, I was just confused. Matter of fact, I still am confused, but you know, alhamdulillah, <laughs> alhamdulillah you know, uh, I'm feeling a lot better now. So we're, we're all working on it, okay? All right, so without further ado, this is The Earth by Ali Siblini. <clears throat> No matter how much I tried to say goodbye, no matter how much I lied, in myself I confide. No matter how much I cried late night inside of my own little space where I lie. No matter how much we talked, you and I, no matter how much we walked happily, outside, no matter how much I balked as the days flew by of whether or not I should try. 
From morning till morrow, my time was spent. From morning till morrow, my back was bent. From morning till morrow, I tried to prevent that horrible fate that came by. Oh, what a shame that this could not work. Oh, what a shame. At times it did irk. And oh, what a shame. Yet I still have a smirk on my face because it hasn't died. Instead, it has grown into something new. Instead, it had shown that it was worth to pursue. Instead, I have known it wasn't untrue from the moment I started to try. From the very start, something was present. Till the day we depart, my feelings are pleasant. We are never apart, because from heart to heart, my pain took off like a pheasant. I have many questions, so let us run through. I have many questions, please don't misconstrue. I have many questions with only answers from you. Please tell me, can we start anew? Oh earth, why must you meddle with me? Pulling strings and sailing my heart. Across the ocean you'll travel, yet you will see. I was always with you from the start. Your presence I sense indefinitely. How can we be ever apart? Fool me once, then shame on you. But what if the count is more than two? And what if the perpetrator isn't even you? And then you may ask, but who? Well, I'll tell you, it's me for allowing myself to be lost in the dark. It's me for always missing my mark. It's me for responding to the barks of the dog whose pleading I harked. Alas, I do not have any regrets. I'm with you as well, so please do not fret. Let's do this together. Make it a bet that we can overcome this terrible threat. But please do not perceive it as scary. Having said that, let us not tarry. You and I, to your beliefs the contrary, the weight of the world we will carry. Let's take it step by step, rep by rep. Train ourselves till we're set. Let us overcome this minuscule fear so that we can reach the final frontier. You and I, me and you. One and two, together like glue. Through and through, the ends in view. We'll do this, it's true. So without further ado, let us pursue our awaited debut for the fate that awaits me and you. Oh, Earth. From the day I met you, I knew, I knew that you wouldn't quit till you were through. Oh, Earth, a challenge for you is a challenge for me because without you, who would I be? Oh, Earth, thank you for what you have given and for everything you are forgiven. But please tell me, oh, Earth, will you forgive me too? Because if you do, I'll finally be able to move. Because recently I've been stuck in my place, paralyzed with no chance to escape until you freed me with your grace and forgiveness that I shall never misplace. This is a thank you to the sun, the moon, the stars. I'm thankful for your lessons, but thanks to you, Earth, I have gone very far. Thank you.